Some of the characters have been picked. Getting ready for set number two. First, it's going to be up to Lonnie to pick the first map. All right, here we are, ready, starting off on, oh, wait, I forget, is this one of the Rainbow Roads or not? Or is this the other music one? Yeah, this is like one of the Rainbow Roads. This is yeah. the N64 Rainbow Road. No, it's not. The N64 one's the one with the trains and stuff and the star loops. What? This is not the N64 one. Sure it is. No, this is a Wii, Oh, this is a, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Maybe this is the new one. I don't, I don't. It could be. Like going on that red, I wonder if they know that it slows them down. So what I'm wondering is, so one of the players, the Baby Peach Lonnie, is also one of the two systems that's being played to keep the name Lonnie pop up. I'm wondering if that just means like Lonnie's like destined to take this one home. Maybe they regular. Maybe this is like their setup. That's what I mean. Like it's their setup. So that means you, you know that they practice it. Yeah, they probably play. They factually own this game. Which would make sense of how they got so far in. Yeah. Right now we got Princess Brat in the lead, reminiscent of the round that they had played in previously, but True. everyone a good space behind, so you don't know what's going to happen just yet. And I'm noticing even, uh, noticing even that Yashken has that star available and three different mushrooms. That's a wild, like, layout. And picked up more items. Four mushrooms total. But they're still in. Oh, the banana. Ooh. Almost had to turn around too. Oh, how unfortunate! Oh wait, that you can do that. Oh, I thought they were just like. <laughs> I thought yeah, I thought, I thought they just died. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Almost. Y'all can wake up. You're doing so much better earlier. Man, I didn't know it was Thursdays. Do y'all know what Thursdays are? What? Sloppy Yosh days. All right, enough trash talking the competitors. They got up here for a reason. Exactly, that's why we're allowed to. Because <laughs> we are not where they are. <laughs> right now, oh, we are also true. watching Spike getting caught behind. Pushing that little loop. Princess Rat been holding this in first for quite a while now. I wonder if anything will change. I feel bad that Yashikan has gotten so many mushrooms yeah, on like the worst mushroom stage. Well, I mean, the stage isn't even that bad for mushrooms. The thing is, is if you have the star on or you're already boosting through the rings, don't yeah. use the mushrooms. No. Don't, you're not going to get like any boost out of it. You want to save them for good straightaways where you don't and, have enough And boost. I kept seeing them toss their mushrooms or use them so much in repetition. Like, you, you can't do that. You're wasting. You're wasting valuable resource. Let's get some new stage we haven't seen. Let's see. Leave this group. Whoa, don't leave the group. No. No, go no. to uh, go to Super Bell Subway. We haven't seen that yet. We did see a ribbon road earlier once, but only one time. That's where we're coming. I guess. Bowser Jr. stage. Cool stage, though. I appreciate it. For sure. Here we go, race number two. Lonnie currently sitting in first place. Princess Brat with second. Top two are gonna make it out. So we need to see Yashkin and Spike step it up. That's what I'm saying right now. Uh, 
Rosa's not moving. Oh, never mind. The map lagged for a minute there. That was so weird. Really? Yeah, it showed like Rosa was stuck there for a while and then it just worked. Huh. So. It still drives me crazy trying to wonder like, what is Pink Gold Peach from? Or why would they like. Like, I guess it's the Metal Mario equivalent of Peach. I guess. But then they didn't put Metal Mario in the game. I don't know. Well, they put Gold Mario, as if that would be better. But Metal Mario has like significant, you know, history. I mean, that was that was Super Mario 64. Yeah, like, that was showing the, the difference in textures and everything they could do with it. It was so cool. Yeah, and it means a lot to people too. It does. Would have been my favorite character. But instead, they have Gold Mario. Yep. Spike dropping that banana, and it actually hits Lanny, which is really interesting. Let's say, I was like, I don't know if I agree with just dropping it there, but I mean, if it works, it works. Ooh. Dropped off, gets robbed of that first place. Spike is back in second place. Red Shell, though, back in first. There's some tight competition Ooh. between literally all players right now. Good shot, everybody else from can. fourth to first. One Red Shell just put Yashken from first to third, like instantly. And I don't know if you noticed, but one mushroom put Yashken from fourth to first before that. Oh, I, was, I didn't realize. Look at how close everyone is right now. It's insane. This is literally like so up in the air. There is no dominating presence here. Nope. And I, I felt like it looked a little bit more dominating in game one, like generally more spaced out. But I like how close game two is because it shows that like we're in for a great set. Yeah. Whoever loses is gonna feel robbed. That's just how it goes. I always feel robbed when I play Smash. Spike, maybe? Spike definitely feels robbed. Can't relate. But because you play Rob. I didn't know Rob players had a sense of humor. I just drove away with that one. I used that pun earlier. Like I know. Three times. You used it. I was gonna say twice. You really just took my fun. You can't. No, no <laughs> wheelie pun. No, it's too bad. You're using at least like four puns per hour, and I'm just done with it. Why do you car so much? Too much of a stretch. No. It no. It was no. I thought that was a pretty. I thought that was fine. It's one letter off. <coughs> one letter off. Did you just Google car puns? 40 car puns, that will make you laugh. Yeah, if you cover the screen, you can't see it either. All right, how can I work these into commentary for Mario Kart? Uh, you don't have to. These are awful. They're great. What kind of car does a dog hate? Corvettes. <laughs> I couldn't work on how to fasten my seatbelt and then I clicked. <laughs> then it no, then it clicked. You you can't even That's what I said. I said then said, it clicked. You said then I clicked. I said it. Uh Rob players. Am I right? <laughs> but there is no Rob in Mario Kart, thank the Lord. So we are back. There was in a Mario, Mario Kart, Kart DS. We don't talk about that. Here's my main. I made him in Mario Kart DS before Brawl. This guy's the limit. You play the robot? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you rather me say like Waluigi or like... No, no, Rob's better. I know. Thank you. Yo, we are on Toad Turnpike too, which is absolutely one of my favorite stages. And I love how in this game you can just knock the vehicles out of the way if you have the star. And in this game, you can kind of like hit the cars and you can still kind of move. You just have to maneuver around them. In the N64, if you tap the cars, you spun out. Exactly. Oh, it was, it was ruthless. It was ruthless, unforgiving, hardcore stage. And Yashken, so far in first, not what I expected. What? Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised that Yashken is doing so well, like running on the motorcycle, because I'm surprised it's not too tired. Look what Spike has in second place, was holding onto a blue shell. You missed my pun. But I do. I said that I was surprised that Yashken was in first place wearing a motorcycle and that they weren't too tired. 
That was funny. Thank you. That's the only one of the 40 I could work in. <laughs> Proud of you. And that's the only pun you grabbed out of 40? The others were just very car specific brands. All right, so you couldn't afford to risk it. Good one. Thank you. Ooh. Listen, the next time they pick a stage with water, they're going to be driving Scoobaroos. Scoobaroos? <laughs> You know, I really don't like that Wiggler vehicle. Why? You always say that. I like it. I don't know why. It just, just kind of bugs me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what I'm most mad about is because you've said that like three times and you never made it a pun until now. So I did not expect it at all. <laughs> Yo, Princess Brat, I didn't I think they were the one that might have won the last round. They kinda snuck in. I did not I kinda actually like was not Well this is race number three, right? Yes. They would have had to because they have ten points, so that means that they won the first and second. Wow. They have been dominating and they dominated that first round too. Yeah. It was uh Princess Brat and Taylor. Yeah. That were head to head. Which I believe Taylor is still in. Just in a different round. I believe so. Confirmed. Yep. Next round. And here we are taking a look at Princess Brat. What are they doing that is working so well? Because she has some kind of Mario Kart power here. Probably just the Wiggler vehicle, in my opinion. Like, I know it drives you up a wall, but, like, just give it a chance. It does drive me up the wall. It just drives me bananas. I was waiting for you to make a banana pun, but I figured I split off of that one. Yeah. Well, you know what happens when somebody hits a banana, right? What? They peel out. Yeah, that's the joke. Yes. I actually think that's why banana peels is the joke. Oh, I didn't know you could hit those tires out of the way. <clears throat> Sorry if that joke is a little fruity. Oh, okay. What? Tiebreaker time. What is going to happen? Oh, wait, but no, there's a fourth race, I thought. Oh, no, oh, that was that it. Oh, that was it. Okay. Oh. Ooh, who's it between? Josh, Ken, and Spike. Predictions? Um, I'm thinking. My money's on Spike. Josh, Ken is, like, the most, like, inconsistent. They they either godlike or they're, they're terrible. I'm going to be honest. But I'm going to, like, I, look. Respect though. If Yash can pulls it off, like they can. There is no betting on this. I would never bet on this round. I think I'm gonna go for Yash Ken. Here we go with the Baby Park tiebreaker.
All right, here we go. Tiebreaker right now between Spike and Yoshiken. <coughs> Seven laps. Here we go. Um, right now, Spike with an early lead hug. This can easily change either way. He seems to be doing really good with the turns, though. Um, what's your unbiased take on this as a tiebreaker? What do you think? Do you think it will favor some players and matchups like unfavorably? But I know it doesn't look one of your favorite states. But, like, tell me. Tell me your thoughts. Lay it on me. All right. So I kind of expressed earlier that Yosh Ken is kind of the wild card and had been in that round for the most part. We saw yeah. how they kind of got you know screwed up at like Sherbert like Island or whatever. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It looks like this is just about anyone's game. And like Spike just used that like Mega Box to kind of hold it back. So I think yeah. it's going to be a lot of like Yosh Ken making Spike's life look absolutely miserable, and then I think Spike's just still gonna pull ahead, because they have consistency, and that's what's more important. Yeah. Even if they just drop that banana and totally let Yashkin pass him. Oh, this is close, Yashkin taking the lead. Oh, and ahead. I just with a with that. red shell too. Right, what are they gonna do about it, Fire Flower? Oh, absolutely oh. what you need, but then hits the banana. Stop. Gives up. Why not? That was good. Yashken giving it to Spike. There's Spike giving it to Yashken. So, oh, how could you have gotten out of that? That's tough. Nah, they they messed it up. They hit that.